very good afternoon everyone we are just heading up uh, Highfield Grange Avenue now to uh, Pemberton Road Britain's friendliest street morning or afternoon should I say so uh, just to get your bearings Paris Avenue is on the right and looking down Holmes House Avenue. Did I say Highfield Grange? I did, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to confuse you. Holmes House. Over to the start of Pemberton Road. Where uh, late last night it was announced that they won. Uh, you can see all the votes coming in. The one with the majority, which is great. So Pemberton Road runs from uh, Pony Dick all the way up to the top of Windy Arbor. Uh, even crosses the M6 motorway. But we're not going to go all the way down this way. But uh, Pemberton Road starts down there, joins Billings Road at Pony Dick, and we're just going to cross over. And hopefully, we'll be uh, seeing some of the residents out and about. We've sp been speaking to a couple of them this morning. Um, just say hello to a few of you guys. So, hello, Phil, how are you doing? Amy Holmby's watching, Ian Yates, and we're green, we're good to go too busy talking. Uh, Claire Halliwell's watching. Kim, how are you doing? Janet, Sid, Simon, Stephanie, Karen and Wendy. What a beautiful day, look at that. Sun's out again, blue skies. So this is kind of the uh, the start, really, of the residential part of it. Um, there's uh, a couple of houses behind me on the main road, further down. But we're just going to have a bit of a wander. And uh, apparently a few of the residents were up late last night celebrating, so they might be hung over today. Uh, but uh, the first cottage on the left-hand side is Rainford uh, Cottage which no doubt is linked to Rainford House. Rainford House used to be um, just behind it really. Rainford House was a big old farm cottage that was like a Tudor type building. There's a picture of it on Winston the Walk somewhere. Um, but uh, if you have just tuned in once again, uh, we're here on Pemberton Road, Britain's friendliest street as nominated by everybody who voted uh, over the past couple of weeks but it's the main road that leads or links um, Winstanley over towards the Billings direction and terminates at the top at the two mile stretch There's uh, quite a new, quite a few new builds in the back behind these houses as well, as you can see down there. We've just gone past 160, which is Westwood Cottage, the Westwood House. Now, just along the way here, on uh, on the left, just past some of the cottages um, and the terraced houses. Good afternoon. Um, used to be uh, Jack's, Ray Jack's, the sweet shop. Hello! Do you live on Pemberton Road? Do you live on Pemberton Road? You're just visiting the world, uh, Britain's friendliest street, oh, eh? Yeah, they, they won last night, yeah. yeah. 
That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Putting Winstanley on the map, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, they got the they got the vote and they won. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. It's good for Winstanley, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's indeed, yeah. You guys have a nice day. All right. See you later. Yeah. Oh, we have a resident. <laughs> How we're doing? We're doing good. You're behind bars today. What's going on? What? You're not letting me in today. I came in the other day. So this, it's all right. So this is the, uh, um, the the please vote sign that's been up and down Winstanley over the past few weeks. Uh, how long have you guys been residents in the well, area? Um, we've lived here just about to nine years now. Nine years. Yeah. Have you always lived in Winstanley, or? Yeah, well, yeah, he yeah, has. He grew up in Winstanley on uh, Ravenswood. On Ravenswood, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Oh, just around the corner from me, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's it like, eh? Britain. Oh. Britain's friendliest street. Great area, fantastic, yeah. mate. Fantastic. Um, what kind of things have been happening in the area with you guys? You've got a, I believe you've got a WhatsApp group with supporting local neighbours and things like yeah. that. Yeah, when we set up the WhatsApp group, yeah. we got um, a letter in the post box saying, if you're struggling, if you need some help, you know, join. So we did. There's Fifty-four houses on the group now, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. So that's like brilliant. That. That's yeah. brilliant. We've been playing bingo Saturday nights. So she puts this sloth out here. Oh, the sloth. Yeah, the famous car. sloth. Yeah. Yeah. If you are walking past, guys, have a, check that sloth out. I mean, it's uh, <laughs> it almost looks real. It's that good. I'm just going to zoom in for the camera now so we can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a belt of that. So I'd save that for Halloween. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. It's my fact, <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so we have bingo cards. And we've got them out here so residents can walk past and grab them. Yeah. And then, uh, quizmaster. You have a quizmaster, do you? Do. Oh, bland, oh, that's organised. He's up the roads. Yeah. He's looking well today. He might not make it up. Um, but yeah, he does weekly quizzes. Super. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And uh, also on the Saturday, just before bingo, we have bingo. And that's for the kids. Right, okay, so right, right, right. I have a little shopping list that I can go to the mall. And we all have to run around the houses. And <laughs> All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And bring yeah. it. And the first one to send me the picture. Super. Busy. Yeah, it does get well. It get it gets you through the evenings and the days, and it's been long and hard, hasn't it? So, um, but at the end of the day, you've uh, uh, you've all pulled together as a community, um, and it's fantastic. That a, you got nominated, and B, that you won. So, congratulations. Yeah, it's like the stuff that you're doing, isn't it? You know. Well, we're, we're just doing something it's completely different to what we would usually be doing, I guess. You know what I mean? But it's nice that we'll be able to hopefully carry it on in the future. All the people who are benefiting from the things that you know, so can't get out. Yeah. You know, and they're watching you, and they feel like they're walking. My so legs have grown tenfold. Yeah, I've, I've not grown in height, <laughs> but I'm, I'm working on that as we speak. So. You know, you really help them out. So I think you know, the whole, the whole area, the whole community has yeah. come together. Well, hopefully, Winston is on the map now, thanks to you guys yeah, for, uh, sure. for for getting through. So well done. Yeah. Right, guys, we'll catch up with you again soon. All right, congratulations. See you later. Bye bye. There you go. That's some uh, some residents there who active in bringing the uh, neighbours together and giving people opportunities to uh, request help if required. And obviously we've got a quiz master we need to bump into later on today. So we're still strolling up. It looks like we've got some got some walkers. Uh, or we're about to go for a walk. Good afternoon. How you doing? Congratulations on winning Britain's friendliest Thank you street. Very much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we've got a dog. We've got a dog. Oh, I can see there in the window. Yeah. I was about to say Britain's friendliest dog. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> he just gets excited, eh? So you've put a little display there in the window, I can see, and the dogs joined you, I can see that. <laughs> so Tracy's uh, handcrafted knits there, quirky custom handmade gifts, uh, commissions welcome. Uh, it looks like there's a Facebook page, so if you're interested in any uh, hand knitted crafts, then feel free to uh, join that Facebook page. Uh, another little friendly gesture is a dog bowl 
for water for the docks. So there you go. So what's it like living on Britain's friendliest street? Very nice, yeah. yeah? I, I actually come from uh, Boston, Massachusetts. You're American! I'm American. I didn't realise. And I've been here for uh, 18 years now. 18 yeah. years? So You've I, not picked up any uh, Wigan, no. Wigan <laughs> slang or... No, no. no. <laughs> Certain phrases. But I had a lot of people from the, the US vote as well, and Ireland as well. Wow, so, wow. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I asked everybody to spread it to other people, so it's sort of just, yeah. That's yeah. great, that's great. Yeah. Um, so, clearly not missing uh, home turf. No. No, no. It's beautiful here. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's been beautiful yeah. over the past few yeah. weeks. My husband well. is British. That's how I, I, yeah. I come yeah. to be yeah. here. So. Very good. Yeah. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you very uh, much. We'll continue our stroll up and That's down Pemberton Road. Thanks very much. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, no problem. Bye-bye. So that was nice. She's, uh, I didn't realise we had an American uh, living in Winstonley. So that's nice. So you can see some of the new houses uh, over the back there and on the front. So this is where Jack's Park used to be, uh, where that lovely new house is. Uh, not Jack's Park, Jack's uh, Sweet Shop. Uh, if you remember driving or walking up uh, the road on VE Day, or the, the weeks leading up to, and maybe a week or two afterwards, the uh, the amount of bunting that was uh, put up along the uh, the street here was amazing. It was like looking back in time. It was brilliant. All the red, white, and blue flags flying around. So if you have just tuned in, uh, we're walking up Britain's friendliest street, voted by the public. Um, and this went out. Hello, hello, hello. Were you ready for me? Were you waiting? Were you waiting? Angela Holmes. She used to teach me a long, long time ago. I was a very good boy, though, wasn't I? I was a good boy. I was all right, wasn't I? In fact, I think I've advertised that. Congratulations on the win. What a result. But it's partly down to you as well with the advertising, isn't it? Well, everybody's jumped in, haven't they? Everybody's voted and got behind you. And uh, on VE Day especially, it was great to see the street all partaking in the, uh, in the, in the celebrations. Uh, but I've just been speaking to one of the residents. Apparently, you do bingo and everything on a Friday, Saturday night. Is that That's right? right. And they do bringo for the kids. Bringo for the kids, where they go and get the stuff from right. around the house and things That's like that. Right. That's lovely, isn't it? And it's a shame that you're not interviewing your great auntie Alice. Isn't I know. My auntie Alice used to live in this house here. Hello, hello. Yeah, that was my. Aunt. Uh, it was actually my dad's, my dad's auntie. That's right. So whatever that makes, auntie Alice. Great, great auntie Alice. A great auntie Alice. There you go. Um, yeah, uh, and uh, she used to live over there uh, beforehand. She used to live over there, over on that side of the road, Auntie Alice, and then she moved there uh, afterwards. That, she lived on Melling's Farm, That's she? right, she was Melling's Farm, that's, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, Je Jeanette's up the, uh, up the road there, yeah. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, um, celebrations last night. Was there? Very, very quiet, very quiet. Were you waiting for midnight? Was that was that the cut off time? Was yeah. that the, the end of it? Very good friend, Mr. Jarvis. Oh, Graham, yeah, yeah. Sorry, counting, Mr. Jarvis. Was also counting down. Was he? Every minute, he gave me the update, which is the course I knew. Oh. So he sends his congratulations. Fantastic. As does Mrs. Cadman. There you go. And all the old teachers from Wow. Hanfield. That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, uh, it is a beautiful street, um, any other day of the year anyway, uh, but today especially the sun's out for, for you uh, and you can celebrate the win. Um, so, she is a new resident, yeah, a yeah. couple of years is it, a couple of years? Is it now? Wow, wow. Um, but it's been nice to move into a nice area, a nice street, a nice road. She says it's fantastic, yeah. Lovely, that's great. Yeah, lovely. Well, I'll continue on the march. We'll go up to the top and back down again. We'll be back here tonight at half past seven. Something special. I'll be in the sky, going up there, looking this way. All right. You take care, Angela. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.
So we're going to uh, head up the road now from the post box. We'll just come to uh, Tanhouse Lane um, on the left, which takes you up to Beach Walk and Jack's Park. And uh, this is the uh, the start of the long wall that takes you all the way up to the top. Some of these houses have beautiful views across the way. Uh, looking over towards Winstanley Park and uh, the fields and the farms and things like that. Kind of looking towards Oral in the distance. So that was nice to catch up with Angela. I've not seen Angela for a long, long time. We spoke on Facebook a few times. Um, but I'm pretty sure she taught not just me, but my two sisters as well. Uh, St Matthew's Prime. Hello! We have another resident keen to come and say hello. I think... Is that is that Britain's friendliest dog as well? Yes. Oh, bless. <laughs> How are you doing? You can, come a, you can come a little bit closer. As long as we keep two metres, I think we're all right. Uh, congr congratulations on the win. Fantastic. Um, what's it like to wake up in the morning to Britain's Friendly Street? Yeah. Um, have you guys been involved in like the, uh, the the social side of it, the bingo and things like that on the Facebook group and the WhatsApp group? Yeah, you've been doing lots. Have you been playing what's the Bringo? Is it Bringo? I've never heard of that one before. It sounds like good fun. Is it all right? Yeah. And we were up late last night to see, see the result, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was unfortunate. Very good. We came outside. I don't know if it's a Very good. Uh, how long have you lived on uh, Pemberton Road? Only two years. Only two years, yeah, so you're a new we resident? Been high field before, okay. So we yeah. We had a there, but we love it here, though, but it's really Very nice. Really That's super. Yeah. It's really good to see the community spirit at these times, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? So, so, congratulations, well done. <laughs> and well done to the dog. What's the dog's name? Mabel. Mabel? Yeah. Nice to see you, Mabel. Oh, she's looking there. <laughs> okay, well done again, guys. All right. Oh, Have a great day. Bye care. for now. So there you go. That's another uh, resident there. Really happy with the result. And we're just making our way. So I was just explaining the, the long wall on the right-hand side. It takes us all the way up to the top uh, of Windy Arbor. It breaks up a little bit uh, with um, the M6 but uh, oh we've got another resident. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations. Okay. Winstanley's, oh, sorry not Winstanley's, Britain's <laughs> friendliest street. Uh, congratulations yeah. on the win guys, you must be thrilled. We are, absolutely made out. How long have you lived here? 15 years. Yeah. 15 years yeah. at now? And did you move from outside of Wigan or did you live in Wigan originally or? Well I'm from Wigan originally. Yeah? Um, I moved over from Macclesfield. From Macclesfield? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'll take me to Wigan and <laughs> <laughs> I've never regretted. <laughs> oh that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, what's the community spirit been like over the past few weeks since all the all horrible yeah. things that have gone around, going on in the world at the moment? But yeah. it's been amazing, has it? It's been yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah. We set up group originally just to have help with shopping for people mm. who couldn't get out self-isolated yeah. just to make sure that they knew that they weren't on their own and that they needed anything yeah. and everybody instantly was brilliant and um, how did that evolve from that um, as it developed further into from just a help, helpful group to, to, to those residents a social group yeah. a social so, group yeah there are online games online bingo horse racing Horse racing? Oh, I've not yeah. heard of it. So he's, he's, our he's the quiz master, is he? He's the quiz master. He's a quiz master. Right, okay. a job, yeah. yeah. And then Garden parties for the E-Day. Yeah. I mean, we saw we saw the bunting on the houses. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Was fantastic. And that was done over WhatsApp because somebody found out where the cheap bunting was. All right, okay. They shared it and then everybody did it. You got a waiver in the doorway there. She was made it onto BBC last week. Oh, were you? You're famous. You're famous. Can I have your autograph? Things come late in life. Never too late We had Robin, who's just there at number 100. She's our photographer. She took all the porch traits for us. Yeah, I heard about that. That sounds yeah. great. Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. She went up and down. I mean, she was running up 
down the road. Mm. Um, and we've just got two small children, so it's no mean thing, oh, you know. And um, yeah, so we did about 40 um, quarter yeah. rights that day. And lots of events for the kids as well. There's loads Birthday of events. Birthday celebrations, yeah. whenever yeah. any of the young kids on the street have a yeah. birthday, then they get massive. Yeah. Yeah. bombarded with messages. <laughs> but despite all the restrictions in place, you've managed to kind of get past all those. It's not, not, not. Um, got to know people. Yeah, we just, that's we another thing. Got to know it. Yeah. yeah. And I put it now, like if you're in your garden and they're walking past, you know, obviously, yeah, distance, but it's very, you know, it's really nice, you know who people are now. Yeah, yeah. And they've just, everyone's got to know each other on this group, so it's Fantastic. probably about, I think now it's about 55 hatches fine. I, th- I, th- I, th- I, think, I think somebody said 56 families are now, on the, well, households are now on the group. Yeah, that'd be very right. Which is brilliant, yeah. Yeah, 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 that'd be yeah. right. So, and we've included Springfield now. Yeah. So, um, so they're included in it as well because it's just like a little loop. Yeah. And we did all the local history for the road. So, so I'm going to share that much with me. What's up with the great as well? Yeah, yeah. Feel free. There, yeah, yeah, feel free to share it onto there. And, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure our resident historian James will be interested in seeing some of that. Well, there's, there's loads. I mean, everybody's pulled out. It just starts with one person going out for deeds of the house, and then everybody says it's pulling the deeds. We're going up into the loft. <laughs> <laughs> we're going around to the solicitors. They were doing Brilliant. all kinds of things. Under the floorboards. Yeah, <laughs> they've dug up all this kinds of stuff, and there's quite a lot of residents on here who've lived here a long time. So we've got some residents who aren't actually on the WhatsApp group, but they're on yeah. telephone. Yeah. So um, we speak to those as well, and we make sure that they're. You know, oh, that's they're nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, it's nice. really nice that you've all gelled together, and no doubt stemming from this, that'll continue um, uh, for a long, long, long I time. I think it will. I think it'll yeah. just seal it as well. Yeah. 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 Again, it's another thing that's really brought us together and uh, just reinforced everything that we've already Super. placed. That's great. And it's hard, you don't, wouldn't have thought this would naturally have happened on a road like this. No. But I think maybe, you were saying this morning, I think it's because probably the nature of the road that everybody has kind of like jumped mm. onto it. Mm. And it's just well, really a, nice a lot of people walk past your road, you know, they'll come yeah. from different areas to do a morning walk or a run or a cycle or even a drive into Billings, whatever it might be. Uh, so they always see the houses and the VE day thing was a big talk of the, the area, you know, with all the yeah. hunting and things like that. So it's, uh, it's nice to see. Um, uh, even though you are on a big long road, living side by side, not facing each other, not in a cul-de-sac, um, that you can still maintain a certain amount of social interaction, which is an important thing. So, congratulations, Thank you. Thank you. well done. And Thanks for uh, watching you walk in. And absolutely, the walk. absolutely. Yeah. Well, don't forget tonight, we're going to be doing a flyover. We couldn't book the Red Arrows, <laughs> so you've got Winstanley Walks. You've got the, you've got the Winstanley Walks drone. Um, and we'll be flying on that side of the uh, field, yeah. uh, over the field and across. So give us a big wave when you see us. Definitely. Yeah, we'll see and then I'll be coming back down again to speak to a few more people. Brilliant. Okay, okay guys, Thanks take care. Thanks see you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. There we go, that was lovely. Uh, two more residents, never met them before, but um, again, willing to tell us the ins and outs of uh, what's been going on with. Uh, Britain's friendliest street. Hello, hello. We've got another resident. Have you been waiting patiently for me? Oh, that's very kind of you. How are you doing? I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you, Mary. Um, Britain's friendliest street. You must be thrilled. It is, isn't it? Have you lived in Winstanley or in this house for a long, long time? I've lived here for 25 years. 25 years, wow. We lived on the estate from 1972. Oh, really? What? We're on the estate? Whereabouts? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, bless you. But I, I'm guessing it's been really nice to have a, some social interaction, some help if needed. Um, have you been uh, self-isolating at all, or you have? So you've had a lot of help from your neighbours and things like that? I to do it back in February. In February, right? I went on a trip to Australia Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the next door neighbours, uh, Mark, who's the quiz master. He's coming out. The quiz master's coming out. We'll have a chat with Mark. Have they, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Um, but uh, what a day to celebrate as well. And you've got beautiful blue skies, the sun's out. Um, and no doubt uh, later on. Were you up late last night to see the result or? Did you find out this morning? Stayed you stayed up for stayed it last up. night. That's brilliant. Oh, did they? Oh, wow. Very good. 
Well, um, enjoy your special day. Um, it's been lovely to meet you. Um, and I hope everything uh, stays well. Uh, I live uh, just down um, Ravenswood Avenue, uh, just off it. In the little uh, cul de sac there, yeah. Is that where you were? That way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just around the corner. Lived there all my life. All my life. Yeah, 37 years. I don't look it, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we'll have, a, we'll have a quick chat to Mark. I think he's uh, over on his driveway. But lovely to meet you, and uh, you enjoy your day, okay? See you soon. Bye for now. The quiz master. Right. How are you doing? So, um, I believe uh, you've been doing all kinds of things. Quizzes and bingo and bringo and all those kinds of things. Yeah. And you lead that, do you? I don't do the bringo one. Lindsay does the bringo. Lindsay but, does that. Uh, I've been doing the quizzes and uh, the bingo on a Saturday night. And then on Bank Holiday Monday just gone, uh, we did a virtual race night as well. Oh, you did, did the horse racing one? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. How do you do it? How does it all work? Is it on just a what? Just on a WhatsApp? All over WhatsApp. Oh, right. Yeah. Wow. So just sending the messages out on there, calling the bingo numbers. But there's all kind of banter and things oh, like yeah, that goes on there. Yeah. 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 Very good. Well, and we were last night waiting for the result. Well, I'm saying unfortunately, yeah, I'm paying for it now because <laughs> I was on a seven o'clock call this morning. Oh, so. blimey. What, what did you do? Um, work for the I'm a civil servant. You're a civil servant. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Britain's fr uh, friendliest street in Winstanley in Wigan. Brilliant. Have you lived here all your life? I've not. I'm originally from Hartley. All oh, right, so yeah. I moved onto the road probably five years ago. Five years, years ago. ago, yeah, yeah. So, wow, yes. belting. Um, uh, obviously, I'm seeing you've got somebody inside there. Is it uh, some kids you've got in there? Your yeah, son in there? Yeah, my son there and me, my daughter's in the back as well. And, and do they get involved as well with the quizzes and things? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. belting. I like playing along. Yeah, uh, I believe you've been helping your next door neighbour, Mary, as well, uh, getting her shopping and things. Yeah, everybody's just been chipping in, really. Yeah, right? yeah. It's just Fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. That's really belting that. Good. Well, uh, congratulations. Keep Thanks doing what you're doing, and uh, we will see you again soon. All right, Brilliant. take it easy, buddy. See much. you now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Well done for all of your work as well, all the charity stuff. Appreciate it, mate. Appreciate it. No, really thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Take care, man. See you soon. Bye -bye. So that was uh, that was Mark. That was Mary. Sorry. Uh, your sons. What are your sons then? Uh, they might have been a little bit older than me, maybe, or maybe... What school did they go to? I went to Avon Guest. What primary? Winstanley. St. Ed's. I went to Winstanley. So we probably crossed over at some point. Yeah, maybe. OK, you have a great day. See you soon. That was a nice uh, little chat there with Mary. Looks like she's been well supported by all her neighbours. And no doubt many people around the estate have been as well. How are we doing, guys? Britain's friendliest street. Congratulations. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you been setting fireworks off? No. Oh, no. next door, is it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. yeah. well uh, congratulations. Uh, well deserved. Um, and uh, have you lived in, uh, on, on the road for, uh, for a long time? Since 82? Yeah. Wow. Wow. You don't look it. Look like you're, you're new homeowners. Come on. Well, it's a, it's a nice place to live, isn't it? Yes. And a beautiful day to celebrate, no, just, isn't it? Place, it's not the no. Belting. Well, you uh, enjoy your day, and um, tonight we're doing a flyover. We're doing a flyover at half past seven. We couldn't get the red arrows, so you got Win Stanley's drone flying over. Okay. We'll see you later. Bye for now. Bye. So there is a, there's a house up for sale here, guys, if you want to move here. It's um, uh, Roy and his wife. Uh, it's their house. Uh, they're not with us anymore, unfortunately. Uh, Beryl, Thomas. Um, he's good friends with their son and daughter. Uh, sorry, the grandson and granddaughter. 
Oh, I think we've got a, a young resident up the road. So if you have just joined us, we're on Britain's friendliest street, Pemberton Road, right here on Winstanley. Put on Winstanley on the map. And we're uh, just walking up, uh, showing you the road. If you can't get out and see it for yourselves. Um, but it's a nice stroll anyway, up to the top. And we're hopefully chatting with a few residents along the way. Afternoon, how are you doing? You okay? okay? Yeah? Is anybody in? Your mum's up there, I'll go and speak to her, okay? Hello! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you! That's magnificent, isn't it? Oh, it's Look at amazing. this. So, it started off obviously with the WhatsApp group and then. The competition was um, run by good people. Yeah. And they were doing posters for the people. And all the, money, all the money was actually going to raise money for NHS charity. Yeah. Yeah. Um, places like Trussell Trust. Okay. And it was really about the. Right. Can we go down that side? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a bit noisy with that uh, lawnmower. Yeah. Um, and it was really about the people who were doing it. Yeah. 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 So just to explain that again, the the, uh, the competition was run by... It was run by a company called In Good People yeah. um, from um, Leeds and yeah. they had posters for people to get artwork out. I've got a background in creative industry, All right, okay. work at the University of Alton and um, I bought a couple of these at the start of lockdown and then when Louise and some of my colleagues had set up the... Um, some of my neighbours had set up the... Don't worry about that! They <laughs> had set up... Um, We've really come together, um, and we did it. We did it. That's the main thing. I mean, yeah. the whole—I uh, think the whole of Winstanley's kind of got behind you and voted for yeah, you. And, and not just Winstanley, like it's not just for the streets. The whole of Winstanley, but we've done it for Wigan, and yeah. even people in the surrounding areas have actually yeah. helped. That's been really good. We've had some votes from America, apparently, as well, which is good, isn't it? We've got um, friends who've got friends in um, America. Yeah. There's been Australia. There's been Canada. So yeah, it, we're it's wicked. It's wicked. Um, and were the celebrations last night? Um, I, 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 further down there were a couple of um, celebrations, but when we're allowed to actually get together, we've said that we'll be able to celebrate properly. Well, so, that's yeah, great. That'd be cool. But you've been managing um, to celebrate at a distance anyway, uh, not just celebrate it last night, but just come together as a community over a WhatsApp group, doing your quizzes, uh, helping uh, those residents who are self-isolating and things like that. So that's been really good, hasn't it? Has. It's been lovely. And the ones that actually can't get out, um, we've been able to like sort of do telephone calls yeah. or just knock on the door and check yeah. that they're okay. So, yeah. Well, I, I think you're wanted now. <laughs> I am coming back later on, so give us a wave. There we go. There we go. All right, thank you very much Thanks. for your time. We'll catch okay. up with you later. All right, okay. bye for now. After the uh, the grassy patches at the front, the local mower out. That's a that's a proper mower that is. Isn't it? Look at that. Belting. So we're just going to head very briefly into Springpool, um, just to uh, show you the little cul-de-sac that it is, and then we'll come back across the road and continue up. Um, those who don't know, there's a meteorite right outside Springpool, which is... Uh, local folklore of course, it's not a meteor meteorite but it's known as the meteorite to some of the locals uh, other people call it the big rock but uh, this big stone here came down uh, on a glacier 15,000 years ago from, uh, from the bottom of Scotland Carlisle kind of direction 
water. You get a cracking view here, by the way. You, you can't go through here because it is private property. But you do get a cracking view from the gate down towards Winstonley Park. But we've never been up Springpool on a walk, so we'll take you up. Let you have a look around. I bet not many people have been up here actually. Uh, unless you live here, there's no real reason to. Looks a lovely little cul de sac off the main road. Some really nice houses, some different houses. And some old houses, old stone houses. So there's a private road down there that leads you onto some of the farming estate where they keep the horses and things. But as you can see, it's very pleasant. And some lovely trees as well in the back. comments. There's been quite a few since I last did a shout out, so bear with me. So, uh, by the way, um, somebody's mentioned here about the path that used to cut through at the back between uh, Beach Walk and Pemberton Road um, that straddled the back of uh, Jack's Park or Beach Walk beach walk play area as it's officially called by the council and I have been in touch to speak to them went to get back but um, apparently it's not an official uh, thoroughfare so if you look on the path maps the uh, <coughs> the path doesn't uh, exist as any form of dotted line anymore and there's a chance it's just been um, kind of assumed into the land of the park itself rather than being uh, some kind of walkway or pathway but we're looking into it Winstonley Walks is seeing what we can do about that one So, uh, not only do they have Britain's friendliest road, street, but they also have, or had rather, um, according to my uncle, Wigan's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wigan's, I think he said best looking bus stop, and it used to be like a, a wooden hut. It used to be there, very posh. You used to have a lamp next to it with um, some flowers around it and, and things like that. So that's what uh, that's what used to be there. It's just a standard glass one now with a an old concrete litter bin next to it. Hello, Are you coming to say hello? Yeah. Oh, Belton. Come on, come on, come and say hi. How are you doing? Do you want to just introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Lauren. Lauren, and a resident of the Britain's resident. friendliest street. How awesome is that? It's very exciting. Yeah. Nice I've spoken to quite a lot of people on the way up. Yeah. Um, they've all said what you've been doing with the WhatsApp group and uh, helping out those who are self-isolating. Yeah. Um, what's it been like for you? It's been lovely. A really nice community for you, Lynn. I've loved all the bunting on the street. On the it was brilliant, wasn't it? Amazing. Did you manage to get some? Yeah, my, well... My mum works in a school and they have a lot of spare bunting and obviously uh, schools okay, are closed well, yeah. so I managed to get it all from my mum. But yeah, it's um, yeah, so a decorated house. No, it's um, it's nice not just to uh, see that when you when you're driving up, but it's nice that you all kind of 
uh, club together to be able to make that happen and things like that and everybody seems to have embraced it and everybody who's walked up here or ran up here or drove up here and I think I've done all three no I've not I've never ran no I don't run no <laughs> but uh, everybody everybody who it put a smile on everybody's faces. Yeah. It was really nice to see, especially on the, the main route out of Winstanley towards yeah. Billings. So. Yeah, we had so many comments about it. Right? Yeah, so yeah. It's lovely. Nice. And did you stay up late last night? I didn't, but I think it was like... It had gone 11 and we were 800 ahead, so I was like, OK, this should be fine now. I can maybe sleep. <laughs> yeah. um, and when you saw the result this morning, yeah, it's nice, really, isn't it? Really nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just nice for your road, it's nice for Winstanley, it's nice for Wigan nice for and the surrounding area. area. Yeah. Wider community that we've got because so many people have got behind the roads. If there's one thing I can say about Winston, they've certainly pulled together in times yeah. of struggle, do you know what I mean? So it's really nice to see. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, thanks very much for stopping by, and we'll uh, we'll see you tonight. We're doing a flyover, so make sure you give us a wave. All right, see you later. Bye. Oh, some more residents. Hello. How you doing? We've already spoken to uh, Britain's friendliest dog. <laughs> oh. Nearly bit, nearly, nearly bit my head off. <laughs> so, relatively new <coughs> residents to the area <coughs> of Pemberton Road. It was. Yeah. Six and a half years. How many? Six and a half years. You've been here. Oh. Is it really that long? Yeah, it's blown, wow. It's blown. So, former residents of uh, Melrose yep. moving to uh, Pemberton Road. Looks like life's on the up. Lovely house. <laughs> Thank you. Um, on a lovely street. Uh, you must be thrilled with the result. I bet you were up late last night, <laughs> waiting for that result, I could tell. Yeah, but definitely, that's why my hat's on to give me eyes. <laughs> no, I was following it, following it all the way through, so, yeah. yeah, it was good. Looks like the whole community's kind of pulled together um, to vote for you, but uh, vote for a community up, up and down the road that's managed to pull together through difficult times. And Have uh, you been engaging with all the quizzes and the bingo and things like that? Have you been taking part and stuff? Yeah, we've taken part. Um, but we didn't win. She ate the ticket for bingo. The dog did? <laughs> yeah. Poor so pup. probably won a chance of eating it, I think. <laughs> Poor pup. Poor but no, it's a brilliant, brilliant community on the streets. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, it's been nice to see um, uh, the bunting on VE Day and things like that, you know, all up and down. Did you manage to get hold of some? Yeah, we did. We got yeah. it quite early on, which was good. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah we had the bun tonight, but we need to get some more now. Is it Glastonbury for the next one? Oh, we're doing a Glastonbury one? Yeah, we're, so we're going to get post and bunting for that next. All right, OK. So I'm sure the street's going to be... Are we still going red, white and blue, or are we using different colours? Not too sure yet. We've got, we've got a bit on the street either way, so it's on for the next thing. <laughs> right, OK. Just waiting for the WhatsApp messages to come through. Fair enough. So, um, I'm guessing there'll be a bit of karaoke and things like that. Will you be singing, Nicola? <laughs> you know me, Chris, I can't sing. <laughs> well, 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 No chance. All right. Well, right, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to the end house there and turn back round, but uh, make sure you give us a wave tonight. We'll be yeah. flying over uh, about half seven, so give us a wave. All right. Cheers. Nice to see, see you. you. All right. Chris, Look bye. after yourself. See you soon. So, me and uh, Nick used to work together many moons ago. I can't believe it's six years since you left. She used to live just around the corner. So if you do drive up here, you probably won't see this unless you're in a high car. Um, there's a lovely meadow there and the horses are uh, grazing. Uh, the reason why I say you can't see it is because of the angle that you'll be in the car. It's, the field is actually the same height as the wall. So when the horses are uh, near the edge, it looks like they're stood almost on top of the wall. You can see a few horses in there. Uh, some people still got the bunting up, which is nice. And the, the winston on the owl. Oh, I'll come and say hello now. I'm just filming the owl. There we go. We'll come and say hello. Are you okay? We'll come over and say hello. Looks like somebody's just leaving. We'll wait for the car to reverse. Gonna escape so you don't get me on. <laughs> She's making a quick escape. I used to be. <laughs> Thank you. Am I alright to come and say hello? Yeah. Is that alright? Two metre distance, is that okay? So, Pemberton Road, Britain's friendliest street. It certainly is. 
It is, isn't it? And we're very, very pleased about that result. Pleased and proud. Very proud. So very proud, you still got your bunting up. I'm yes. loving it. Well, Look at that. That's actually from um, V Day. Alright, from V Day, yeah. From V Day, but it's very turned V Day. It was lovely seeing seeing everybody's bunting up and down the road, wasn't it? It was lovely to see that. So, um, so uh, were, you, were you up last night looking for the result? Did you manage to see it? Oh, yes. Yeah? I think everybody was excited. We watched. Yeah? Oh, that's belting. You had so many votes from all over the place as well yeah. and things like that. Have you, um, have you uh, sought any help from any of the neighbours at all? Have you needed any help over the past few weeks? So you've helped help the others out, well, yeah. If, they, if they've needed it, yeah, that's good. We do, that's lovely. We've been very lucky. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Right, well, I've only got a few more houses to go, and then that's the end of it. So I'll be coming back tonight about half past seven. So I'll see you again then. Hopefully, give us a wave. We'll be flying over there. Okay. Yeah, no problem at all. I'll come round. I'll come round. You're all right. Uh, but lovely to see you anyway. And we'll uh, we'll catch up with you tonight, hopefully again. All right, bye for now. Bye 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 bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? You all right? <laughs> yeah. Pemberton's, uh, sorry, Pemberton Road is Britain's friendliest street. So I'm told. So I'm you're told. told them that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived here? Sixty-one years. No way. So, are you an original resident, or yeah? Wow, wow. Are, well, are you my the long? Was here for two years before. Me. Right. Okay. Um, so, would that make you one of the longest-standing residents? Think so. Yeah. Yes, I think so. From what I gather. Yeah. I'm just going to plug this in because I'm about to lose my battery. So, if I just plug this in while we're talking, and then uh, just bear with me one second, folks. We're just recharging the camera. There uh, we go. We're back on. We're back on. We're back on. <laughs> Um, so, have you um, uh, required any help from your neighbours, or no, have you I've been providing? Living with you. Your daughter's so, living with you, okay. Um, but it's been nice that it's been nice that uh, people have been uh, oh, yeah, getting involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Um, and obviously, you get a lot of passers by coming up and down the road and things like that. And when they did um, over the past few weeks with the bunting up and things like that, it was really nice to see. What was that like for you to see the street just streamed in red, white, and blue? What it makes me realise is how few people I knew on this road. Really? All right, before. okay. Because when you get in your car and you go out to work, yeah. you don't tend to know the people. That's I right. know the people on either side of me. Yes, yeah. yeah. And the younger are the younger people. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, um, it's really nice to see. Uh, uh, the celebrations. Yeah, we're uh, taking our bunting down. Well, yeah, I know, but there, there's one or two that's still up. Um, but I believe you might be getting some more back for uh, Glastonbury. Oh, apparently, right. apparently. If I've let that slip, I apologise. <laughs> um, but um, uh, but congratulations! A lovely day to celebrate. It is. And um, no doubt we will see you again soon. Absolutely. We had so many votes. That's the main thing. Okay. Right. You have a great day. Enjoy. See you soon. some uh, really nice people who are willing to stop and chat I've never met a lot of these people um, one or two I have um, but to stop and chat and tell us how things have been going over the past few few months and uh, being part of this is uh, it's been really good for them and really good for the neighbors and everybody's benefited from it so really nice to see so we're coming up to the last few houses on the left hand side um, and if you didn't already know later on today around about half past seven we'll be doing a flyover um, of Pemberton Road we couldn't get the red arrows but we're doing a flyover with the drone uh, over the fields to give them uh, uh, a video of them all waving at the camera and then I'll post that video up once it's done. We'll also be speaking to one or two more residents later on today as well. So you get two walks up here today. For Britain's friendliest street. So there you go guys. There it is. We're going to finish the live stream there. And continue 
with some more live footage later on today and some more conversations, interviews with some other residents. Hope you've enjoyed it. It's lovely weather. Get yourselves outside, have a walk up here and uh, say hello to Britain's friendliest street. Okay guys, I will catch up with you later on. Me and James are going playing in the water. Bye for now.